welcome to the fish tank. Hey everybody, Fishman here. Welcome to the next installment in the uh, mini bandsaw build. What I want to do this week is get this motor attached to the base plate, and also I want to uh, drill and tap and put a set screw in this uh, the main uh, belt drive wheel for the motor, uh, so I can get that firmly in place. And I want to do this also. It, it is uh, lined up with the front flywheel, and then finally I want to wire it up and turn it on and <laughs> get some sort of proof of concept going here for it uh, for it running. So what I did is just marked the holes, uh, drilled them. Uh, there's no need to be too precise with this because, well, as you can see, uh, the holes in the motor are pretty sloppy. All I wanted to do was make sure that uh, when I uh, square this up, I have a bit of play just in case I need to uh, make some adjustments for making sure the belt is running uh, straight. Not, I don't want a bit of a... If, if the belt is at an angle, it may put a bit of pressure on uh, the main uh, the flywheel and it may not run true so I want to at least have a bit of play in that uh, so I can uh, make fine adjustments later on. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, get this plate off, uh, wire up the motor. It's going to be exactly the same as wiring up the motor for uh, the belt sander. Uh, so most of this I'm just going to leave out. Uh, the only, I don't think there's actually any difference at all. I think it's actually even the same kind of motor. Uh, so anyway, this is going to get wired up, and then I'm not going to bother, if, if you look at the lower right there, you'll see uh, that's the switch, uh, the electrical box, and the plate for how I want to, I want to uh, have the switch work exactly the same as the belt sander, I really like that. But I'm not sure where on this it's going to go yet. I have to get far, <laughs> farther into uh, this build before I can figure out uh, where I want to place the switch. And then once that's done, uh, then what I'll do is uh, somewhere along this wire, which I left long enough, I will uh, split it open and uh, mount all that stuff on and then attach the, uh, the electrical box somewhere on this uh, frame. I'm not sure at all where it's going to go right now. But that's way down the road, so I'm not going to worry about that for a moment. So once I get this on, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, switch over to uh, drilling and tapping and getting uh, the main belt drive wheel going, because that's uh, actually the most important part, which is this right here. When I originally started thinking about this, what I thought I would do is um, I was going to drill and tap right on the thickest part of the wheel right up here uh, on the main section right there. But as I was uh, setting this all up and getting it ready to go, I was thinking it was a fair, <laughs> a fair amount of material to drill through, which is not too big a deal. And then as far as tapping goes, that's what actually had me a bit more concerned. Uh, my taps aren't that long, and I didn't really want to try and tap through something this far. I would end up, uh, <laughs> I would have end up running out of length of tap for sure. So I figured I'd switch over to the uh, the thinner part, or sorry, the, the, the shorter part right here. But then again, you can see that the drill bit itself takes up a good chunk of the thickness of that part. And I didn't want such a thin wall uh, supporting all that weight. So instead, I decided to go right down the middle, uh, right at the, the thinnest diameter, which is going to be uh, right in the middle of the groove. Now, to do that, I had to ensure that I was being very accurate. Uh, not to the you know thousandth of an inch kind of thing, but I had to make sure when I was doing the drilling that I went down uh, not so much this perpendicular part because uh, that's as uh, long as I keep it in the vise when I, between drilling and tapping, it'll always go straight and everything will be fine. It is actually the centering on the groove itself that was kind of essential. I don't want to have I know it's going to be a small difference, but I didn't really want to have uh, the hole being more on one side than the other because that would end up uh, creating probably a very small vibration, but I didn't want it. Like I said, each of these little steps where I keep saying it's kind of important, if uh, you end up accumulating these sorts of things, I think it could become a, a problem in the long run. So I'm trying to eliminate as many as I go along, so hopefully I won't end up with that kind of issue. So anyway, this is a very straightforward drill. Uh, the neat thing about it is uh, once you get past a bit of chatter, because the drill obviously isn't going straight because it's only uh, hitting on two edges, uh, it just goes straight through. It's not a big deal. 
And like I said before, I am not taking this out of the vise uh, between the two uh, operations, the drilling and then the tapping. So we'll make sure that the tap is nice and straight. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to clean this up uh, without taking any difference. Take the drill bit out, put in the tap, and then we're going to lubricate that up and get it going. One of the things I found out when I was doing this is uh, I've done a few of these now, and the part that I find annoying really is, uh, I mean, this is really the best way I think for what for the equipment that I have to do this, but I'm finding it annoying uh, turning the chuck by hand. So, I mean, there's a lot, if you watch the machining videos, which, uh, you know, I'm not a machinist, so I don't have the equipment for it, uh, but they have uh, where they can do power uh, feeds for uh, tapping. <laughs> that would be really nice, but I can't do that. So what I was thinking I might do, though, is uh, build some sort of wheel or handle to, to attach onto this, and that would make this much simpler. Anyway, it's a possible future project. Uh, for the moment, once I've gone through about uh, three quarters of this, uh, well, pretty much as soon as I am ensured that uh, the tap doesn't have any chance of uh, deflecting and making an uh, angle to it, uh, I'm going to pull it out of the vise, uh, turn it 90 degrees, and also reclamp it up high enough so I can see the hole like I do here. Uh, so when I finish off the tap, I don't end up going too far and end up marring the far side. So then it's just a matter of uh, cleaning this hole up and getting it all set. And then we're going to mount it onto the motor and uh, go for our test run. So anyway, this is pretty much the end of this video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you like this style of video, please like and, su and or subscribe. Uh, next week what I'm going to do is start working on the mounting for the upper level for the, the top wheel. And uh, that should be quite interesting. It's going to be a lot harder to do than this. So hopefully you'll uh, tune in for that. And then what I'm going to do here at the end of this, uh, the last little bit of this video, is uh, I'm going to turn it on, obviously, and then see how it runs and everything. Uh, but you haven't heard how it sounded yet, so what I'm going to do is uh, turn it on, and I'm going to stop talking to you. <laughs> and you can listen to the last little bit of the, what listening to the motor run. The only funny thing about it is, uh, and this is in my fish room, so... The, the tanks make a lot of noise, like all the running water, uh, and you, you can't even hear the motor over that, so it's kind of funny. But anyway, so thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next week. Um, actually, it might take a little bit longer than that because uh, I'm not sure how it's going to go as far as uh, building that top bracket. Uh, I've already had the parts, and I'm working on it now. Uh, but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get one every week for this. Uh, hopefully I will. But anyway, I will uh, see you in the next video. Thanks again for watching. And here I'll just leave you with the, uh, the sound of the motor here. <laughs>